Good afternoon and welcome to our channel, thelatestnews.com. March 26, 2015, Saudi Arabia launched Operation Decisive Storm. Its aim, to drive out Shia rebels known as the Houthis, who had seized control of the capital Sana'a six months earlier and had forced President Abdrabu Mansour Hadi into exile. The UN says the situation in Yemen is the world's worst man-made humanitarian crisis. A US-based conflict monitor estimates that almost 68,000 civilians and fighters have been killed since 2016. One in three Yemenis now don't have enough food to eat. 80% of the population needs some form of assistance. And the country also faces a cholera epidemic, which has already claimed 2,500 lives. August of the same year, Saudi-led coalition ground troops landed in the port city of Aden, making it the Hadi government's temporary capital. They helped government forces push the Houthis out of the south and imposed a blockade on goods and weapons reaching rebel territory. In 2016, jihadist militants from Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula took advantage of the chaos, seizing territory in the east. In December 2017, the conflict took another turn. The former president, Ali Abdullah Saleh, who had allied himself with the Houthis in 2015, was killed by the rebels for reaching out to Saudi Arabia. Saleh had ruled the country for 33 years until the Arab Spring uprisings. Sunni Saudi Arabia, backed by regional allies, accused Shia Iran of backing the rebels, and Yemen became the hotspot of a regional power struggle. Only weeks later, a split also emerged among pro-government forces. Separatists seeking independence for South Yemen, which was a separate country until 1990, seized key government facilities in Aden, killing and wounding dozens. In June 2018, the Saudi-led coalition launched a major offensive on the Houthi-held city of Hodeidah. Its port had become the lifeline for almost two-thirds of the country's population. Last December, Houthi rebels and government representatives agreed on a ceasefire on the city and its port, but neither side has withdrawn its troops. Relentless fighting over the past four years has taken a heavy toll on the local population.